Our mission, our goal, is to help older urban communities in particular rebuild, revitalize, revive, and become great places for living for everybody. Over the past 15 years, Barry Bluestone has taken this idea and turned it into a major force in public policy and a true partnership with the communities it served. Lawrence is this really unique place. We have a very large immigrant population. Sixty years ago, when someone was an immigrant, they could come and take a factory job and they could make a good living. That's not true anymore. We're trying to refocus Lawrence as a place that people work. And so for us, a big mission is how do we deal with this high unemployment that we have? When uh, Barry came and did a report on what was happening in Lawrence, he was able to compare it to what's happened to the other working cities over that 20 or 30 years. The exact document that was used from the center, we carry that around a lot because it tells us about job growth. It tells us about what it looks like to be a business in Lawrence. With great partnership around the community, a great mayor leading the city, will there be more you know, restoration of mill buildings? Will there be more living spaces for people? This all happened in a matter of 10 years. I can just imagine the endless possibilities of what else can happen in the city in 10 years. Fitchburg is uh, sort of recreating itself. It's an older city in the terms of its manufacturing infrastructure. It used to be a big paper mill city. So many times you hear of manufacturing is declining, but in fact the Dukakis Center showed us that manufacturing in Fitchburg is thriving, that it's a real hub of this entire region. One of the first tools that I use is the EdStat program. We have a lot of niche businesses here that do really cool things that you don't realize, like building a plastic pink flamingos. I mean, it's lawn ornaments, so it's fun to make, and uh, we're always trying to come up with new ideas of what to make and sell. I would never think of moving anywhere else. Because of the Dukaka Center, we've really been able to embrace that identity. We have a champion for things that really create a regional identity. The city of Newton has always been a city of opportunity. Not only is it a place to work, but it's a place to be. There's a lot of young families. The shopping areas have been awesome for us. The city of Newton has worked uh, very closely with the Dukakis Center to project out uh, what we're going to look like over the next 15 years. The demographics of Newton are, are changing um, pretty dramatically. The folks that are getting older in our community want to stay here. Uh, that means we have to have the right mix of housing and retail, um, transportation, accessibility. If we didn't have the data, we would be doing this with blinders on. We would be going by instinct. We want to make sure that Newton remains a place where people want to work, they want to set up business, and they also want to live. So the study really gives us a roadmap, if you will, for the future. Kaka Center has exceeded my wildest expectations. The amount of research that they have at their hands, the quality of that research. It helps us engage in a dialogue with our businesses and residents uh, to ensure we're making the right decisions. The truth is, as being mayor, is about looking at the small things and looking at the big things and being the real connectors to community. And having the Kaka Center back us up with the data is really great.